we are going to do the first practical using PHP. So when you are using PHP, PHP is a server side scripting language. So you need to have a server. The server that I have installed on this system is a WAMP server. So you can just search WAMP and you can go to start server. How to check whether the server has been started successfully or no? You will open Google Chrome and you will say localhost. If you get a page something like this, you will come to know that your server has started successfully. Now, where do you save your PHP codes? So let us open our file explorer. We will go to C drive. We will go to a folder which is called as WAMP. In WAMP folder, there is a folder called as www. Here you will create a new folder. Let us say that bad projects. Okay. Now, in this particular folder, I will save all my files, whether they are HTML files or whether they are PHP files. Now, where do we get the access to this folder? I am refreshing my localhost and now you can see the VAD projects are, it is appearing over here. Okay, so from here, I can always open and I can see whatever files that I have. Now, let us start with our first practical, that is finding out the greater of two numbers or if both the numbers are equal then I have to print the numbers are equal and the user in the input should come from the user so how to start with that you will require two files for it one is a HTML file one is a PHP file so let us first start with an HTML file this is the general syntax or the general layout of the HTML file so Greater of two numbers in body I want to create a form so whenever you are creating a form there are certain fields that are very important the first one is method uh, there are two basic methods which are available get and post I am using the post method over here and then the next thing is action action will be executed when your submit button is clicked so now, whenever you are writing action, one important thing is whatever is your page name for the PHP file, that should come here exactly. So I am going to create a page which is called as greater.php. Now, first number. Input type is equal to text. You are supposed to give the name attribute over here without fail. So name is equal to num1. We will need this when I am accessing the files in the PHP. When I am accessing these numbers in the PHP side. So second number. Again I am going to copy paste what I have written earlier for simplicity purpose and I will make only one change instead of num1 I will write num2 now this is done I will have input type is equal to submit so this is my submit button and value that I want on this button is which number is greater That's it. This is my HTML code. Now where do I save it? Obviously after this you are supposed to close your form. Where do I save this? I save this in the folder that I have just created in my C drive. VAM, www and VAD projects. This is the place where I save it. So let's say. greater html dot html I cannot give greater dot html because then I'll only get confused with two files of the same name so greater html dot html save us now I'll create a 
new window. Now this window will be my PHP code. So let us first save this file. Again this file will be saved in WAD projects only and the name I'll give is greater.php greater.php exactly as it is it should come no small capital change nothing okay now to always start a php file we use this symbol and to end a php file we use this symbol all your php code will come inside this so how to declare a variable in php this is how you declare a variable in php now i want to access the field with num1 and num2 as names which are there in html form into php so i can either use dollar underscore post or dollar underscore get what will i use right now post because my method is post if my method was get i would have used dollar underscore get so let us write dollar underscore post in all caps and then in square brackets in single quotation marks I'll give the name of the field is this sufficient the answer is no I need to perform something that I call as typecasting because our field is text but we are entering the number so the typecasting has to be done similarly int dollar underscore post and in square brackets single inverted commas num2 that's it I have my two numbers now I'll use if else so I'm going to use if else ladder so dollar n1 is greater than dollar n2 I will say echo dollar n1 dot space is is greater than space dollar n2 please note in javascript we used to use plus sign to concatenate the variables and the string here we are using dot now this is done so now else if I have a second set of conditions so dollar n2 is greater than dollar n1 then I'll just copy this and make a small change in it you can write it afresh if you are getting confused I'm just trying to save some time and then in the else part what do I have I have echo and I'll say both the numbers are equal and semicolon that's it this is the my this is my code for checking which number is greater I save it okay I just say control s because I have already saved it now I go to my local host and I refresh this can you see greater PHP and greater HTML dot HTML obviously I'll execute greater HTML dot HTML first I'm entering my first number as 20 my second number as 10 and obviously the answer I expect is 20 is greater than 10 let us try to put second number as a greater number yes I'm getting a perfect answer let us try to put both numbers equal both numbers are equal that's it for this practical thank you